Always oh, nice when we have a green box. Usually mm -hmm. means we're live. Yeah, so. Yep. Hello, 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 hello. What's all this then? Uh, except for Australian. I can't do an Australian accent. Mel's better at that. Good eye, mate. I can kind of do a sort of passable uh, Canadian, though, eh? No, you'd be surprised. There are actually, I've met people who have this accent, eh? They actually yeah, no, say, I, No, I, I, I'm fully aware. Um, my school has, like, a uh, connection with a, with a... My high school had a connection with a Canadian school, and we would go over to them and, and play them, and they would come over to us and play us. Uh, and one time when they came over, they did have a coach that would, you know, end their sentences with A, and we all were just, like, silently ecstatic about it. Well, we obviously didn't want to draw attention to it, because that would be rude, but we were, like, mm -hmm. we were all, like just, like, just whispering, Oh my god, he actually does it! I, I knew uh, one person in high school who was the... One of the most Cana upper middle class ass Canadian ass Canadians I've ever met. I, w I won't name names, but like he did, he was the whole package. He had the accent, he had the hairstyle, which was kind of a mullet. He like he played hockey. The whole nine yards. Anyway, hi there, everybody. We're playing Necrobarista Final Pour. Uh, it's like. Valhalla, but with dead people. Which actually is... If you don't know the context for that, then you'd be like, oh, of course Valhalla has dead people. It's the afterlife. Not that Valhalla. We're, we're referring to the bartending game. I think Jack has... You, you have played it on the channel a few times. Yeah, that was a while ago, though. I yeah. also played it in my own time. Uh... I have thoughts on that, but like, let's just kind of jump in. Basically, the I think I believe the premise is you're a barista who barists for dead people, or Seems something. Seems weird in a nutshell. Would make sense based on the name. Now, can we just mm -hmm. get someone to quickly jump into the stream a few minutes in, uh, in advance and just like check the audio balance? Because uh, I want to make sure it's uh, all crisp and clear. Yeah, it's crisp and clear. I checked. But like, is anyone too loud? Is the game too quiet? Is any of that nonsense? Hold on. I don't think so. Okay, well, let's just jump right in then, shall we? And like, just riff on uh, what is, I'm very sure, is a passion project visual novel by some Australian people. I think we're also going to continue our conversation about All Might. Uh, the fact that he is... let's, let's go through the opening first and then we can uh, talk about... Uh, our hot, uh, My Hero Academia uh, hot takes. That posture speaks to me on a spiritual level. You know what I'm oh, saying? Same. That's just mm -hmm. the I'm just, I'm so done posture. That's a service industry posture. In oh, that yeah, part. that, you know, that's yeah. the, that's the proper term for it. Hi. Am I oh, supposed to... oh, I'm I'm in control. I'm supposed to click. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Poetry. And they then lives. my father said. I feel like to this the name is, of the mate who is dead. I feel like this is something that. Oh yeah, it's definitely something we are unaware of because we're uncultured. I don't read or poetry. Uncultured. Are we're we dying? In a way. Do we have COVID? Is that is that how this game starts? Is we're dying uh, of COVID? Oh no, it's just. Oh, Mill, you have you have to read this. It has a British word in it. It's too bloody damp in here. Yeah, but Australian, though. I can do good day, mate, and that's about it. Okay. 
Otherwise, I do. I will probably verge into offensive territory. We should have invited Spud for this. <laughs> I don't know if Spud would be available for this, given the time of day that it probably is over in Australia. Ah, he's a zoomer. They're, they don't sleep. Let's see what time it is in Australia. Okay. I'm gonna stop you right there. I, I know you know, but wouldn't Windows Underground make things worse? I feel like. Uh, if, mm -mm. We, if, if, if Spud is on the East Coast, uh, it would be, it'd be 8 a.m. Uh, West Coast, 5 a.m. Fucking hell. <laughs> I mean, that country is fucking big. It is well. It's, it's technically a continent. It's most of it is just occupying a tiny ass continent. Yeah, and most also, of it is just filled with neglect, nothing. Uh, what? You got you neglect to consider that uh, underground might be in a cave with a box of scraps, a perhaps. <laughs> yes, exactly, a box of scraps. Uh, what were you saying, Mill? Uh, just that it, just that, like, Australia is also filled with, like, nothing. Yeah, and like, spiders. Most of, Central Austra most of Central Australia is just desert. And spiders. Like, like a good 80% of it just has nothing in it. It has spiders in it. <laughs> Speaking of spiders, Australia has, like, more deadly poison species than any other continent except maybe Africa. Yeah, that was a, that was a concern when I visited at first. Like, I feel I like always, I feel like if you go by proportional, I feel like Australia is at the top because remember Africa is also a lot bigger. Hmm. But yeah, the, the, the spiders were a, were a concern uh, at first when I went there with my uh, with my school and rugby tour. Uh, eventually, certainly, I just stopped being bothered about checking uh, checking my shoes for spiders. They got. It got boring after a while, and nothing was actually happening. Yeah, there's a ventilation duct in here somewhere. I should hope so. I, I'm starting to feel like this workplace is not OSHA compliant. Wait, are we talking to Maddie or are we Maddie? Uh. All right, let's find out. Yeah. Or are we talking to ourselves? No clue. Oh, there's a dumpster on the ventilation duct. That just... That seems awful. Yeah. It's always a good sign. Okay, I think we're Maddie. Yeah. I like Tom your farm. This is a very, this, I've never seen that before. It's kind of interesting. Also, I mean, this, might, this game has style. Like a, yeah, it might be an Australianism. Mm -hmm. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> is there no voice acting in this game? I don't think so. That's unfortunate. Voice acting is expensive, especially in a long, like, in a visual novel that's almost entirely consisting of text. True. I mean, I played a visual novel a little while back last year that had voice acting for basically the whole thing. Yeah, but hentai generally has a higher budget, Jack. It wasn't hentai, it was a western game, it's Heart of the Woods. Are you sure it wasn't hentai? Yes. I am positive. Maybe you just weren't good enough at the game to unlock the hentai parts. Bruh. Oh, this is ominous! Oh, I, this fucking ominous! Yeah, this is... like a coffee shop. Yeah, that's not what I was expecting at all. Honestly. I wonder if they want to open a fucking vent. They're in some sort of, uh... Death cave. Oh no, it's... Kinda looks like Tanjiro. 
Yeah, vaguely. Evil Tanjiro. <laughs> well, a little snarkier, at least. Yes. And the Tanjiro doesn't snark. Tanjiro has a Jesus metaphor. He's too busy being uh, Jesus the Messiah to snark. Tanjiro really is Samurai Jesus, isn't he? He is very much Samurai Jesus, yes. Fishnets and sneakers, huh? Interesting choice. Yeah, it is, it is, huh? Neat combo, I the, suppose. The one dude off to the side is definitely the edge lord of the group. This is the token lolly. Uh, I don't know about that, but yeah, that guy is definitely the edge lord. The very least, the token like little sister figure. That's what I said. Token yes. Token munchkin. I don't think we're allowed to say that word anymore. Token small person. Please uh, don't call. Is that okay? I... No, no, I, I, I think so. But like, please, I was just gonna say, please don't call him Oni Chan. Bye. Oh no. And that's his little sister in with a steel chair. I was expecting a twist there. Totally. Also, that butt shot, though. Mm. Is now really the time to be asking whether you're doing something illegal, people? I feel like the time is when you walk into this clearly illegal uh, room illegality, and you just go, yeah, what we're doing isn't legal, is it? Really? There, she, she wasn't clear on that, huh? I'm sorry, the council? This game has lore? I thought this was just like a casual game where you make coffee for dead people. I didn't expect lore. So is the council going to ask you uh, what you're, why you're uh, accusing Saren of treason or... Or are they perhaps not going to grant us the title of master? <laughs> are we doing this because the council refused to grant us the title of master barista? <laughs> it's unfair. Oh, this is this absolutely needs to be said in a thick accent. I don't know if you want to. You can do it in like some variant of thick British accent as well. But like this, right, Mill? I mean, just because he said "mate" doesn't mean it's in a thick accent. It makes it incredibly more likely. But <laughs> it's just like this. No, it's the structure of the sentence as well. Oh, shush you, we're it's, upsetting the natural order is fine. Oh no, they're talking about rule bending, the forbidden sixth uh, style of bending. Is that a cyborg hand or are those just gloves? Why not both? That's a fair point. See, he said bah! Mm -hmm. How is that not a thick accented character? Characters uh -huh. that say mate and bah almost certainly have a thick accent. As cold opens go, how, how is this trading you? I mean, it's intriguing, but it is a bit slow. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is definitely illegal. 
I thought there wasn't any like doubt about it being illegal based on this setting. I feel like it's illegal not just like legally but also sort of laws of physics kind of deal. Or you know of course she would say that. She knows what she's about. Mungus. Oh, so the barista oh. is a necromancer. That makes a lot more sense. Hmm. Are they really going going as far as to break the natural order of things just to get out of paying a barista? Probably. I mean, Starbucks has hit a new low. <laughs> You know they would do it in a heartbeat if it was an actual option. Oh, 100%. Every fucking company in the world would. Especially Amazon. How do you not know I'm what not necromancy means? Amazon, I'm not convinced Amazon hasn't already done it. It would not surprise me, that's for sure. I still remember I had like oh I have to click on the word oh yeah yeah that's definitely yeah I didn't expect this game to be this art house. Mm. Oh. I wonder what style of coffee shop we're gonna be running. And there there was like a one of those fancy milk frothing machines on the title screen. I feel like they have those in every type type of coffee shop now, though. I don't know if we have them in Tim Hortons yet, eh? Yeah, but that's because Tim, Hort Tim Hortons sucks. It objectively does, yes. Oh, I'm walking now. There's an invisible wall here. I should probably follow the arrow, huh? Probably, yeah. Seems like yep. a good plan. But no, in a video game... If there's an arrow pointing you in a direction, the first thing you do should be going in the opposite direction. You say that, but at the start, I when I was uh, playing Nier Automata for the first time, the first time I really got to control uh, 9S, I wandered off in the wrong direction, and suddenly the game ended. Nier Automata is kind of a different beast, though. Yeah, Nier Automata, like, expects you to expect it and then unexpects you. I, mean, I found it hilarious that I accidentally wandered off in the wrong direction and suddenly I'm getting, oh, 9S wandered off forever and uh, the story couldn't continue sort of thing. <clears throat> These are very uh, progressive rules, by the way. <laughs> Don't ask who's alive, it's rude. <laughs> Oh, is this a metaphor? Is this an allegory for something? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, now that's just a... That's on you. Like, like... No, we don't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> hey, at least they're honest about it. Oh, hang on. They can't clean up your uh, spatial rifts if they don't know about it. That's fair. <laughs> what? Don't feel the Eidolons, they can't eat, and offering them food just reminds them of that cruel fact. That That's kind of yep. sad and hilarious at the same time. <laughs> Seems like that's it for the rules. Nice comprehensive set of rules. What's, mm -hmm. on, what's on the menu there? Can you, like... Espresso, cappuccino... Oh, this is kind of just like the generic coffee stuff, huh? I guess you do, really do come for the ambiance. Is that a world tree? Oh, wow, they've got, like, a bookshelf. You don't see that very often nowadays. This is, uh... uh I, do more... love a, I do love a coffee shop with a book bookcase. That is pretty nice. Or with, or with some games to play. Mm. 
Yeah, I remember going to pizza places with uh, arcades when I was a kid. Those places were the shits. Mm -hmm. So, oh, it's thirty fifty three. Future. That mean we're gonna have to wait until thirty fifty three for necromancy to become a thing. Probably. They still have books in 3053? Why wouldn't they? Even in a thousand years, there is a still... There's gonna be some weirdo who likes the touch of physical books. I like the touch of physical books, I just can't afford them. Books are expensive. Trust me, audiobooks are more expensive. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go on, Mel. <laughs> Barista speaks Chinese, but exclusively uses it to mock people to their faces. I am very self-conscious about my top hat now. It's just like... Amazing. <laughs> Observed little girl running around cafe with knife, unsupervised. <laughs> Came down with deep sense of ennui after visiting. That's, I feel like that's just par for the course for coffee shops. Is ennui good? No, it's existential depression. Uh, I wouldn't say that's typical of every coffee shop, but... Every coffee shop that looks like this. I mean, yeah, obviously. It's definitely typical of every employee at a coffee shop. <laughs> I'm frankly surprised they don't have a rule saying no goth kids. Disclosure, I'm... I have no taste buds. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the main character is a goth kid, so I don't think she could set that rule without being banned. So, you wanna... let's, let's play a little game, Dead or Alive. Alive. Dead or Alive. I'm gonna say Alive. But I'm willing to- I am 100% prepared to be proven wrong. I'm gonna say dead just to make things interesting. I don't know about those eye bags. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he might just be a millennial. You know how tired those are. Yeah, you don't- you don't have to be dead to have eye bags. I mean, look at Shinso. He's dead inside. It's a different matter entirely. Same with Aizawa, for that matter. Yeah. Also... Oh no, the protagonist has a strong Australian accent. Hi, right. mate, you are right? Hi, mate, you are right? <coughs> oh no, ah. he's act. Okay, now I'm starting to think alive, because... Mm, actually, no. Oh, he's dead! Oh, he is dead. Well, I thought it was because of the gloves. Ah, so, uh, downtown in any major city, huh? Correct. <laughs> this, I don't think you're dead, man. I think you're just like, this, I think this is just your first time in a major city. Maybe you just disassociated. You don't know. He, he, no, he was trying to check out of the Hotel California. He somehow wound up in Australia. That makes... That, that song takes on so many different meanings. Also... Am I right in saying the this game probably should have opened with this? Yeah, probably. probably Instead yeah. of the like edgy prologue that throws a lot of proper nouns at you. Yes. Sometimes you just gotta toss it in immediate stress. Those look like Yowie hands. 
I'm sorry, what? Yowie hands. The the big ass, really long fingered hands that you see in so many Yaoi manga. I'm sorry, what? Did you not know that? I don't I don't really read Yaoi that often, so no. I don't look at Yaoi that often either, but I know what Yaoi hands are. Yeah, it's a big meme. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. They're selling kombucha for $5? Is that stuff super, super expensive? I don't think so. Also, but people again, still drink kombucha in... People still drink kombucha in the year 3053? That is entirely possible. Oh no. It's censored content. They say our coffee's to die for. <sighs> they had to make the pun, didn't they? They did. They did. They had to make that joke. I'm not. I wouldn't Why be wouldn't surprised I? if it was the if it was the cafe's fucking motto. Welcome to my Reddit AMA. Is that how you spell disheveled? It might be yeah. an Australian spelling. Also, why is it bolded? Are we gonna have to remember that? Is that gonna be on the quiz later? Possibly. Okay, he's she's got you there. Should we be reading the dialogue out loud? People can read. Oh, I don't know about that, considering... Uh, I'm not, okay, I was gonna... Uh, I was gonna make a dig at subs versus dubs, but I'm, I'm choosing not to. However, the fact yeah. that I said it means you can infer what I was gonna say. Funny enough, I did post a meme the other day about... Uh, People uh, watching with subtitles on you if, they, if it's already in their native language. Wait, you mean you I don't do that? No, I do it. But it's funny. It, the meme was funny. Also, <laughs> this is an interesting way of dealing with people just realizing they're dead, is just constant snark. Yes. No, it's everyone. Don't think he's special. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Please oh, no. On the spiral. The Please say we're not starting off uh, with our first dead guy being a suicider. He's, he's like, equipped with tools and stuff, so it's possible it was an industrial accident of some sort. Hmm, that would make sense. Oh, no. Uh, are oh, you sure? <laughs> I can hope. You know, I'm starting to understand why the ennui kicks in. This Honestly, is just, ugh, if, ugh. if this gets too heavy, if this gets too heavy, we're switching to mass. We're back. gonna pivot, yeah, I guess. Okay. This is a bit. This is. I, I don't know if I'm really down for the, this heaviness. To be right fair, now. it does like all everything I've seen heard about this game says that it is like. Sort of a dark comedy sort of deal. Dark comedy is very subjective. This does not strike me as funny. Oh no, I don't think this, this is, is supposed to be funny. Yeah. I know this isn't this is not supposed to be funny, but I think the comedy is on its way. I mean like the like the menu or the list of rules was an example. And the uh, reviews. Yeah, like the whole uh 
you know, I think the don't feed the Eidolons joke was funny. That's probably an example of the direction that... Yeah. Oh no, she's an angry Australian now. All together, mate. See, that wasn't on the was, list of rules. I was gonna say. Also, eleven sixty for avocado toast. Uh, remember, right. it, it is uh thirty fifty three. Who knows how much? It could be super cheap in like modern day dollars. We don't know how inflation's been. We also should we also Are... should remember that this is an Australian dollars. Oh, that's true. Everything costs about five times more. If I recall correctly, avocado toast is like ten bucks or so. Uh, what at the place I looked? Yeah, like the steak sandwich is only twelve sixty. Why are the avocado toast and the steak sandwich only a dollar apart? Because steak is delicious, and avocado is for pretentious people. I don't make the rules. Oh, this is so goddamn depressing. Yeah, it's not great. Look, let's just uh, hope it gets funny at some point. Oh no. The triple, I'm sorry. Ah, yes, the classic service. That is a service industry ass. Smile if I've ever seen one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this dude is probably just the like. Okay, no, I thought I thought it was we were actually gonna flash back, but no. We're still here. I kind of want to hear the entire story behind this line. It does seem interesting, doesn't it? You can tell it's an indie game when they can't afford the pouring water animation. How long are we gonna give it to stop being fun? I, I we haven't had attempt. there is a, there are choices and dialogue options in this game, so we, I think we should at least give it until we get to the like choices and dialogue option, the first one. All right, but like as as funny as some of the the bits have been here and there, it's just like this game has mostly been very somber and depressing. Yeah, that's honestly not what the reviews or reviews suggested. So I'm kind of like, that's why I'm giving it a chance. Oh, I admit, I, I admit it's worth giving it a chance. It's just like, I'm really not in the mood for something soft or depressing right now. I would have been playing Elden Ring uh, earlier today if I was. I'm not feeling up for that. Tell me more about the lawnmower accidents. Those do sound interesting, if horrifying. Mm. <sighs> ah! Oh, they did tell me tell us more about the lawnmower accidents. That would make a lot of sense. I've uh, always been convinced my lawnmower is possessed. Mm-hmm. You can't just drop that and move on. <laughs> <laughs> Correct.
the mill. How familiar are you with Doctor Who? Uh, pretty familiar. Um, I was watched consistently through uh, 9, 10, 11, fell off in the middle of 12, but I have watched uh, episodes here and there of 12 and 13. Okay. So, you're, you're familiar with, like, Time Lord stuff then, alright? Yes. So, if Bill S. Preston Theodore Logan were Time Lords, what would their titles be? That's a good question. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Yes, a lot of people would be into ghost cafes. A lot of people. Mm-hmm. Also, what people are you referring to? There's no one here. The rent is too damn high. Sorry. So, are we talking about literal vampires or are we just referring to landlords? Because at this point in this game, I can't tell. Why not both? Yeah. It would be honestly brilliant <laughs> no, to all landlords are vampires. No, they're just boomers. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Also, I'm pretty sure she's a wizard, so, you know. Mm. Being in Six Senses, Bruce Willis was bad the end of that movie. That is a very good point, isn't it? How. Can you have two of those? You always talk about Six Senses, but if you, like, really count, a lot of people who talk about Six Senses are up to their, like, ninth or eleventh sense. Yeah. I mean, you can have two Me. six senses, but you usually refer to one of them as your, you know, seventh sense. After all, is that. He is tiny. Is she like a... She I like think a, she's just a, a little child, something? actually. Yeah, she's just, she's an actual child. Possibly so a dead child. Oh, uh, yeah. She, oh dear. Yep, she did a child. Isn't that the look old kids have? Ah, uh, no, some no. of them are kind of just like have achieved the derpy. cop. The no, some of them are derpy, and some of them have achieved a state I like to call capybara zen. Appropriate animal, considering uh, where the game is set. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Happy bears? Happy bears aren't from Australia. Are they not? Aren't they marsupials? No, they're from South America. Happy bears? Are you thinking of wallabies? No, I'm thinking of wombats, probably. Yeah, you are thinking of wombats. Then happy bears are from the Amazon. Oh, so they are. I, I'm fairly sure I associated just because I'm fairly sure I saw some in a zoo in Australia. Possible. Also, I saw a lot of animals in a zoo. Capybaras are the largest rodent, and that is very on brand for Australia. I thought wombats were the largest rodent. Wombats are marsupials. They're rats. Let's be honest with ourselves. Yeah, but marsupials are a different uh, uh, familial group than other mammals. Like, different uh, 
I don't remember the exact classification. She's got a long neck, huh? I have been thinking that. Yeah. The, the neck is Pretty weird. Quickish. Oh no, she's giving the puppy dog eyes. Yep, dog eyes. <clears throat> yeah, you know, you know what's great about Australian zoos? What? Kangaroos can ju you get areas where kangaroos just wander around and you can take pictures with them. Aren't they like? Make sure they don't uh, get into a fight with you. Trust me, the kangaroo I took a picture with looked more stoned than uh, Bill and Ted combined. So how how jacked was it? I'd have to look at the picture again, but I don't think it it wasn't like the the ridiculously jacked one that that went like viral. I I think it's it's the difference between the captivity captivity and wilderness, right? Probably. I mean, you know, as I said, those ones were very docile. When we got a what's a name? What's the name for a group of kangaroos? Uh. A hoppity? A menace? <laughs> a let's, just call them, let's, just, let's just call them a pack. Uh, when there was a pack of um, kangaroos that decided to inhabit the uh, the Ingol area of the rugby pitch we were training on, we very much stayed away from them. Um, and at the, at the school we were playing, um, the students were warned to stay away from the kangaroos if they ever... Uh, got near, so. Did a koala yeah. try and hump you? No. Thankfully stayed away from the koalas. Disease-ridden beasts. They do all have chlamydia. Uh, yeah. The John Oliver Ko Koala Chlamydia Award. A thing of beauty, that is. Yes, that actually exists. <laughs> Shut up, Tanjiro. He has the hairline, okay? Yeah. And the hair. He's just missing the scar. Also, Che is such a... Che is a pretty douchey name, not gonna lie. Especially when it's spelled like that. Not as douchey as Chad, though. The name Chad has only gotten worse with the meme. Yeah. I feel bad for the country. For many reasons. Mm. Uh, any person named Chad is 9 times out of 10 going to be a douchebag frat boy. It's funny how these things seem predestined, huh? Yeah, that's why you, you don't name your kid Chad or Chet. Oh, you don't fist Name fight the Charles. cosplayers. Like, oh, yeah, they, no. they, they're usually packing heat. Especially the ones that cross dress. You will not believe that time I saw the, the cross dressing Homer out cosplayer just pull out a gun on someone. For legal reasons, this is a joke. Yep. That is the other thing. That, A lot of cosplayers actually carry around legit swords. I don't know why. Oh no, Cairo Sedro. <laughs> That's appropriate because I'm pretty because he died. Did you know that? Who? Are you aware of the Cairo Sedro meme? No. So, it was a meme in which uh, an incredibly white man, with a katana for some reason, calling himself Cairo Sejiro, was interviewed 
after like some sort of attack in public and like was talking about how uh, if, uh, the, his sword he would have uh, resolved it with his sword and how he was more dangerous without the blade than with it I would recommend watching it. It's a very uh, meme-riddled interview. Ah, so you mean what I see when I look in the mirror? Too real? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> considering, this, mm -hmm. considering this game is depressing enough as it is. Yeah. I guess it's a mood. Oh, I, I really am not enjoying this. I feel like it's trying too hard to be, like, trendy. Witty. With the Gen Zs. Yes. Uh, yeah. I feel like this is not... We're not vibing with this one right now. Yeah. Let's, uh... It is failing. Let's pivot chat. then. Yeah. Let's